when I make characters with shochu, um, there are two things that I pay attention to. One is flavor, and the other one is a proof. And I say flavor. That's because um, what we just did is the perfect example. It's potato shochu, so it is savory and earthy in general. But uh, each one of them is slightly different. You want to pay attention to uh, what ingredient the shochu is made from and also what koji is used in production. And the second thing uh, I said, proof. Lately, we started seeing some shochu that are 80 proof or even higher. But uh, as of today, uh, most of shochu in market are um, mainly uh, 50 proof, only 25% ABV. So uh, with that said, when we make characters with shochu, we want to pay attention to not only choosing the flavors, uh, you match to the shochu that you are using, but also tweaking the recipe to make up for the shochu being lower proof. And being lower proof can be a disadvantage when making characters because most recipes for classic characters use spirits of 80 proof or higher as the main ingredients. And a lot of us um, utilize classic characters as a starting point to create original characters. As we all know that uh, most of characters can be divided into two categories. One is Saba character, Shaken character, the other one is Aromatic, Restore. And this one, this triangle right here, this is a typical formula of sour character, bruised, sour, and sweet. And this is, I believe this is the uh, commonly used proportion between bruised, sour, and sweet. Two ounces of bruised, three quarter of sour, and maybe three quarter to one ounce of sweet. Um, but when we make sawa cocktail with shochu, this is what you want to do. You're going to increase the overall loose content while you reduce sawa and sweet. All right, then uh, back to the booze content. Here it is. I'm spreading shochu and gin. Today, I'm going to make you a shochu gin gimre. Two teaspoon of lime juice, three teaspoon of simple syrup, and one ounce of gin. So I just shook up lime, simple, and gin only. And I'm going to add this part, 1.5 shochu. By doing so, we are not diluting shochu. Even shochu being lower proof, we can use it as a main ingredient. So here is the typical formula for aromatic characters, such as like Matinho Manhattan. Two ounces of booze and one ounce of bamus. And today I'm making you um, potato shochu, rum, Manhattan. And once again, I'm increasing the overall quantity of the goods. I'm gonna pour 1.5 shochu and one ounce of rum. And I'm, uh, for this case, I'm just keeping the uh, same amount of bamus. I have one ounce of rum and one ounce of uh, sweet bamus all together.
All right, so I just finished storing, then I'm going to add row 2, 1.5 ounces. So um, to summarize what I did is start with classic cocktails recipe as we always do, but we need to tweak it. How to tweak it, up the booze, lower the sour and sweet. If you are, if you are working on the um, sour cocktail. And if you are working on the aromatic cocktail, once again, whole quantity of booze needs to go up. And um, when you execute the cocktails, you are not going to shake or stir. If the proof shows you, you're gonna keep it in the fridge until you need to use it. And when it's ready, you take up from the fridge or ice and you're gonna add shochu at the very end after you finish shaking or stirring. So hope you can pick, you can see um, 1.5, I scratched it because you wanna add it at the very end. The formula that I use as a starting point uh, will be shared through uh, Philip and the organizer. So um, I do hope that the, you guys find my formula uh, very useful and utilize it as your starting point to create something uh, great in your own. Thanks for watching. <laughs>